Great Zimbabwe is thought to have been the capital of a once large kingdom that existed from approximately 1000 CE to 1500 CE in what is modern day Zimbabwe. Ruins consist of three distinct architectural groups. There's the great enclosure directly above me, the valley complex here, and the hill complex on my left. The reason these are often separated into distinct phases is because they appear to have been built and occupied at different times throughout Great Zimbabwe's history. The walls of the Great Enclosure are 11 meters or 36 feet tall and are 250 or 820 feet long. This tower is also part of the complex and it's 22 meters or 62 feet tall and these are all constructed entirely out of large stone blocks without the use of mortar. So take a look at this, this is the inside of the Great Complex. Now this gives you a scale of how big these walls are as well as how thick they are. All the coolest things found here are these Batula Eagles. The second coolest thing in my opinion is that archaeologists actually found glass beads and porcelain from Persia and China, showing that these people were engaged in vast trade networks. Hit follow for more.